The clog face method will only ever make a tiny improvement to your cue action, but this small margin can consistently make the difference between potting the ball or not, so it's vital you get it right. And what you need to know is the position of your grip after you've played the shot. Specifically, this is about the angle of the wrist, which on its own won't make a significant enough difference for you to even notice. However, the position of your wrist will have an effect on the rest of your cue action, and it means if it's too far out of position, this could cause you to miss the entire shot by a little way. The clog method is how you know your wrist is in the right position to push your cue through as straight as possible, and it will make you a more consistent player. So here's how it works. It's all about what your hand's in contact with, so what you need to do is think about the outside of your cue as a clock face. So you've got 12 at the top, 6 at the bottom, and so on. You can then think about what part of your cue your hand is in contact with and pick a point that's obvious. So we might say my little finger here is at about 6 o'clock. Then you can just set yourself up with a simple shot, play it, and hold position. After which you can ask yourself the question, where is that contact point, in my case the tip of my little finger, now? And I can honestly tell you it feels like it's about five o'clock. For me that felt perfect because I know if I keep my little finger in this position that means my wrist is going to go backwards and then forwards without rotating or flicking out to one side. Now if this isn't working just try adjusting the finish position slightly to something that feels right. So that's more three o'clock where I've ended up with my little finger. And if that doesn't work, try going the other way. So I go into more six o'clock here. But the best way to work this out is to see what happened to the shot you've just played. So for example, any shot that goes too far to the right hand side is likely to be because your wrist is rotated too far in a clockwise direction. And at the same time, shots that go too far to the left are likely to have a similar problem, but it'd be caused by your wrist being rotated too far anti-clockwise when you finish the shot. Now it is worth pointing out there are other factors that also could cause you to miss the shot, not just the position of your wrist. And sometimes if you rotate your wrist too far in a clockwise direction, that could also make you miss to the left rather than just the right, especially if you do it really badly wrong. What you want to find is the perfect finish position for your grip. So when your hand ends up in that position, every shot you play goes absolutely dead center of the pocket. Then you can just work out using your contact point where that is on the clock face you use with the outside of the cue. Then once you know where this point is, you can just repeat it, trying it again and again and again until you can get it right every time. Because getting this wrong is an incredibly common way to miss a shot. You see, what I've done there is I've rotated my little finger around from where would be perfect for me about five o'clock to seven o'clock, and that's caused me to miss the pot by quite a long way. Whereas there, my little finger has ended up what felt like to me as five o'clock. And what do you know, I potted it absolutely dead center. A good way to practice keeping your finish position in exactly the same place each time is to put four reds up across the table like this and practice keeping it the same. And in keeping it the same, you should be potting all four of these balls. It's by no means easy, but when you get used to it, you're gonna be a lot more confident with it. There you go, that's not bad, is it? Lastly, this is something you need to practice until you get it right. In a game, this is the last thing you want to be thinking about. You just want to be aware when you've completed the shot if your hand feels like it's in a very wrong position. But in general, if you start thinking about moving your hand position or rotating your wrist as you play the shot, you're probably going to have big difficulties. Let's just quickly find Matt, who's in Dob Walls in the UK, which is there. Don't think of this as something you need to change, but rather something that will benefit you if you manage to keep it consistent. Something else that will benefit your game though is keeping the tension right in your cue action and giving you that smooth cueing that you really want.
And if you click this video, it will show you exactly how to achieve that, with the other videos showing you how to aim straighter. And remember, don't just watch play, and make the commitment to becoming a better player by subscribing to the channel, and visit the website to see the rocket method. See you later.